Anna Cody from childhood was in an environment to create the smartest individual. This was because the Y Room prepares kids to become geniuses compared to others. The Y Room makes them better in every aspect, from combat sports to being a genius in human psychology. But most importantly, it was built to make the smartest child that can take over the world. The word smartest is a comparative word that means he has to be better than everyone in that particular field. To become better than his peers, he had to adopt a competitive mindset. There are many types of competitive mindsets, but the one which is most important is called the the bottom line mentality. It's derived from business and its mentality is one which puts results above everything and will not risk profits now for their long term goals. This may go against everything you know about delayed gratification but this and that are two different things. Delayed gratification is for the people who are about to do dumb things for the simple act of being happy instead of waiting it out for a better reward. What we're talking about is current profits versus later profits. But for you guys, this mentality should mean win at all costs. You can see this in Ayla Kochi's mentality as well. He doesn't care what method is required to win. And if you're still not sure about the benefits, let me take you to this case study by a couple of American colleges. They found out that bottom line mentality is a mentality which hyper focuses onto results. This is done through clear priorities, allowing to understand which task is more important for the success of the current situation. The mentality also creates self-accountability which allows for more understanding of one's weak points so they can correct it in the future. However, there is a negative. This cannot be applied in a team setting. But this is personal growth. The white room is for personal growth only. Okay, I've mentioned the white room enough. Let me describe what it's like. So, from Ayla Koji's view, he was practically in a competitive environment from the get-go, where if you're falling behind, you're thrown away. There is no room for someone who can't always win. It may sound cool, but that's how you build a mindset of winning or losing. There is no such thing as participation. This is how you create it yourself. This Listen carefully, it might be extreme, but you can't get extreme results without extreme work. Step 1. Rewiring your mind Anna Koji from childhood in the white room had wired his mind to think of failure as an extreme discomfort and he should not fail. But you, as of right now, you're not happy. But fine, even if you lose, it's something small. You accept failure and the worst bit is you forget the pain that came with it. After a small win, that pain is nothing. You cannot be like this anymore. If you're serious, I want you to listen carefully. I want you to get a pen and paper and write down all your biggest failures and write it word for word. You can pause the video. Done. Right. keep that paper, you're gonna write down some more things. But once you're done with this whole video, stick it up somewhere where you're gonna see it. Maybe a mirror in your room. To remember the pain from failure. The pain which you don't want to go through again. You don't want to disappoint your family who sacrificed their lives for you. Or your friend that stuck up for you. More importantly, you don't want to disappoint yourself. Every time you look at your failures, acknowledge the pain. But as Patrick Bet David said, pain is fuel. Step 2. Identify your goal. Ayla Koji during his younger years knew his goal from the beginning. It is just to win and stay at the top of white room. And we need that goal in our mind. So, what is your goal? Physique, wisdom, money, status or all four? Tell me. Once you identify what you want from your life, write it on that piece of paper. The goal, the time frame everything. Make sure it's just above achievable. That is how you break the mental barrier of your perception of what is possible in that time frame. As most people will dream big but then force themselves to think small and you need to go in between. Now no, if you fail that goal, it's on that list. That's another failure. Your dream is going to be another pain in your heart and do you want that? Step 3. Change your interactions. Ayla Koji in the white room only interacts with people who are off his level, intelligent or working to be at the top. If they fall, they have no part in his life. It is a harsh verdict, but there is a saying, show me your friends and I will show you your future, which applies more than ever in his and your life. As an individual striving to be in the top 1%, honestly ask yourself, how are your friends affecting your life? You may have amazing vibes and great characters, but are they truly going to get you out of the situation you're in? And truly, I know that your life goal is bigger than this, because you're watching videos like these. Chris Bumstead has explained that his friends would stop inviting him to gatherings and stuff while he became disciplined. Realize this will happen to you, but it's part of the process. When you grow to heights of the top 1%, you will meet better people once you get to the top 1%. So so don't worry, you will have people around you who are on your level eventually. Step 4. Complete the time. Now, the white room allowed Ayana Koji to spend his time honing his craft to become a genius, using your goal and freedom mental capacity by leaving your friends for your goal. In this time, find out what works to get to your goal. Learn from experts in the field on YouTube or books. Keep learning the skills, keep learning the knowledge, and then you can easily accomplish your goals. And the main thing is keep working as we have freed up time from these pointless interactions. Again, this is extreme, but for a sudden change, a whole system needs to change. 
this four step process will make you successful. Now do you see how Iron Coach was as successful as he was? His time was effectively used, his mindset was in the right place and he had the right people around him. That will be your own white room and now you know how to create it. It's just for one piece of paper. Go stick it on the mirror or go stick it on the wall that you're going to see it every day. Comment down your goal in time and come back in whatever time frame and see if you've completed it.